My subscriber Reese2182 posed a really interesting question in the comments. Will an axe chop through a steel toe boot? I found this question to be very compelling. So I went on Amazon and I ordered up a pair of steel safety toe boots, size 13. Boy, these are big ones. These are the big, I, I knew that I, I'm not the best aim with an ax all the time. So I thought, well, I'll get the biggest ones they have because that'll be the biggest target, right? Okay, so indeed we do have a steel capped safety toe boot. The same boot that most of you guys wear if you work industry or in industrial applications or heavy construction. It's going to be a required boot. A lot of people ask, how come we don't wear safety toed shoes in wildland? It's because you can't have any steel in your boot. The ground is so hot that you're walking on that the steel heats up and then it just is like a heat sink and then you just fries your feet. So that's the reason why. But today we have two boots and I thought we'd try two separate axes. The first axe we're going to try is the tried and true, this big heavy Spanish axe. This is the what is it? <laughs> your Nita, your Nita. I, I really enjoyed these axes. They're a little bit different than the traditional axe, as you can see the shape. Uh, they're good for these chopping tests because they uh, carry so much weight and it's got a big wide cutting edge uh, and it just does a lot of damage. And I just like it. I just like these axes. They're easy to swing and that's what we'll try first. So if this one, now remember this chopped through a logging chain. I'm surprised to see that. This one here we'll try first on the left hand boot and then if that doesn't get through we're going to get serious. We're going to go with my biggest maul. I call it the Bismarck or was it Bruticus? I forget. Looks, it always reminded me of the battleship the Bismarck but this thing is a monster. Probably six, seven pounds and a pretty good taper on it. This would be interesting to see if that goes through. I'm wondering if it might just smash it but we'll find out. So let's start with the left shoe and the Spanish chopper. Oh, so to do our test, we need a good solid base. What could be better than the anvil block, an immovable object. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna start with the right here. I figured if we place it here, maybe right like this, got a good solid, I'm gonna cant this heel a little bit so it doesn't get any wibble, wibble, wiggle waggle there lose any energy for the for the impact there we're hard down on the platform all right so i'll strike it right there i have no idea what to expect here fortunately i've got two tries at this because we have two shoes right we'll see if we can't come in right about there right are you ready all right here we go hard as i can well, that definitely put a dent in the genuine leather. <laughs> see, I wonder if your foot would have survived. I mean, we've all heard the stories, right? That uh, the guy that uh, the steel toe shoe, oh goodness, look at that. The steel toe shoe uh, closed in on his, wow, wow. I wonder if it cut. Let's, let's cut this open. This is not a very well-built boot. Well, I don't, think anyone is under any illusion that we're going to get quality boots for $40, $50. But it is leather. That's kind of looks like pretty nice leather there. Don't need to be sharpening the old bench made there. Look at that. That really interests. So there's also oh, there's a rubber cap on the end of that. Let's cut through there and see what's going on here. Doesn't take long to get into a, a boot there, does it? Oh boy. I wonder how they attach that. Now I'm curious, how do you, oh, it's just, look at that. It just, uh, is just glued in there. I never realized that. Of course, I mean, what, you can't exactly stitch it on there, can you? You've got some a little foam protect it there between your toe. All right, so let's take a look. So this is, it does not cut, an ax will not cut through a steel toe boot. And I'd have to say that you might have a sore, a sore uh, pinky, what's this, the right one? The right shoe? You might have a sore pinky toe right there, but I think you would have survived it. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you would have lost any toes or anything, but it did, uh, it did protect it, it did not go through there. All right, let's try the left shoe 
and we'll put the Bismarck on it and see if we can't totally collapse this toe. I don't suspect that the steel toe boot is gonna do too well up against the Bismarck. That is a heavy chunk of steel there. All right, let's find out. My aim was off a little bit there. I swung that ball up there and it got hung up on the fluorescent lights above my, my work lights above my shop. And then I, oh, of course, that's my excuse anyway. So that uh, was not a very clean strike, but I think clean enough to, to tell us what happened. So that, it smashed a little bit more, uh, but not enough where you would have uh, lost a toe or had to have the fire department come and extricate your foot from your work boot. Uh, I have to say that yes, indeed, steel-toed safety boots or work boots are indeed axe proof. So thanks for watching everyone. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see is axe proof in future videos.